the grand total of how much they gave me or how much they offered was you go against the man that got it you go likely lose yeah they said i'm acting different boy i'm brand new. we're out here with my boy david eating some chinese food some wonton soup what soup you get Egg drop. Egg drop. I like the wonton soup, even though he says it looks like what? Yeah, it looks like a fucking nut. Something. He said it looks like ball sacks. How uh, would you say some bomb Chinese food, fortune cookie? You choose. Food coma, bro. Let's see what it says. Through greater effort and hard work, a precious dream comes true. Ooh. All right, so we're picking up the dogs because we're going to move to the new house. Don't bite me. I think she bites. Don't bite. I'm going to record you picking her up. Don't bite, okay? Come on, we're going to uh, Chiquis, don't bite, please. Come on. Come here, Chiquis. Come on, Chiquis, we're going. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on, we're going to the new house. Oh, <laughs> we're going okay, to the Chiquis. new house. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's cool. I just don't want to I don't make it bigger and then all of a sudden she gets scared. Yeah. What's going on guys? I'm finally back, man. I haven't made a video in like two freaking weeks. I've been super sick. Like I've been feeling kind of better one day and then the next day I just got even more sick. And yes, I always say I'm always sick. Willie, you always say like, bro, you're always sick. Well, when it comes to like December, January, for some reason, I am always sick. And then throughout the whole year, I'm not. Dude, I actually like felt I had the freaking coronavirus. That's how sick I thought I was. Like I read all the symptoms about coronaviruses. Watch, I'll throw a little pic here. Like the cough, I had cough, I had fever, I had headaches. I felt tired, I had the chills one day so bad. I had sweats at night, aches. Except for like the difficulty breathing. You know, that's kind of normal every day to me because I'm a fat ass. <laughs> you know, I got to start working out. That's every day. That's an everyday thing. But anyways, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to talk about how much did I get for my accident that I was involved in. And yeah, my car. Let me show you guys. My car is still messed up. You know, I haven't taken it to the shop. Still rocking the ghetto look, you know. It's all messed up. Right now I'm doing an oil change. I'm gonna change the oil on this. The thing I hate about changing the oil in my car is that I need to take off the wheel because the freaking oil filter is on the side of the motor. It's not like underneath, you know? But right now I'm gonna tell you guys about the accident, what happened, how much money are they gonna give me. And what I plan on doing with the money. So stay tuned. And look, I'm wearing gloves because I hate having grease stuck to my nails for like weeks. It's hard to take that off. So I'm like, you know what? I'll be a princess and wear some gloves. I'm so happy my mom just got here. Hi, mom. Hi. Yay. Yay. Uh, salvarlo. I know. She has a freaking jack that's like way easier. Look, this is the jack that my mom carries. Way better, easier. I usually just, just like pump it. Psh, psh, psh. And this one just takes forever. You have to crank it. It takes forever. All right, I got my wheel off. And over here, you'll see that. I can't really see, but right behind this is my oil filter. That's the annoying part. You got to take the wheel off because you can't really reach around underneath. Ian, let me see. Oh my god, I forgot I gave him these. The Yeezy Slides. You going to church? Yay! Yeah. Fresh boy. Alright, we got the oil pouring. Alright, so while I have my oil draining, let's talk about how much I got for my accident. Okay, if you guys haven't seen the video regarding my accident, long story short, I was at the barber shop. After getting my hair cut, I walked to my car, got in my car, I hear a knock on my window. A lady told me that her son hit my car. He was backing out and accidentally scraped the side of my car passenger side show you a little picture right now long story short um kept going back and forth with my insurance we both had the same insurance progressive insurance and so the insurance kept insisting to use their body shops take it to one of our network body shops it's gonna be fast it's gonna be uh, under warranty it's gonna be reliable and i'm like no nah, i want to choose my own they're like no well it's not gonna be warrantied blah 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 i'm like i don't care and at the end of the day i wanted to get paid you know i just wanted money and finally um after talking to my agent that's taking care of my case i'm like you know what i read on the app i read on the website i can get cash payout and i wanted to have that option and at the end he's like okay you want to do that fine here's a little link 
go into the progressive app put the little uh link code and then just follow the instructions so i did that and then i had to do um i thought someone was gonna come to me and actually inspect the car to see how much they're gonna give me right no i had to use the app i had to submit my own pictures and my own video like you can't really tell the real damage on video or in pictures you know it's like pictures are flat video is flat you can't really tell the damage of how how deep the damage was you know what i'm saying like the deep scratches and i'm like oh my god i'm like all right we're back freaking camera died where was i okay so i was explaining how to use the app to submit video and pictures to get a freaking what's it called an estimate of how much they're gonna give me for the damage of my car right so i did that look i'm gonna throw some video some pictures of what i submitted the best pictures and video i i took that best you know showed the damage so they had a judge based on these videos and picture right so i submitted it i submitted it friday night and of course i doubt they work over the weekends and i think it was till monday i received an offer I, I saw the email, I opened it up, and the offer was uh, like, okay, based on the pictures, damages, and all that, and detailed re um, detailed explanation of how much everything's gonna cost, blah, blah, blah. The grand total of how much they gave me, or how much they offered, was 2700 Damn! $2,700. And that same day, Friday, the day I submitted the pictures and video, I took it to one of a, a body shop that We've used, I think, three times. And by we, I, I, I'm talking about my girlfriend. <laughs> she used uh, this body shop. She knows the guy. She, he's actually working at uh, fixing her Jeep currently. And so we took it to get a rough estimate of how much he would charge me to fix my car. We didn't tell him we we're gonna use insurance because you tell them you're gonna use insurance, they're, they're gonna up the price, you know? You're just gonna tell them, you know, we're gonna pay out of pocket, you know, we don't have insurance, blah, blah. You know, it's like a, a, a Mexican shop, it's a Latino shop, you know, ya sabes que lo hacen más barato, pero lo hacen bien, you know? Barato y bien. That's how my people roll. So we took it, and then the guys are like inspecting the damage, and he's all like, all right, so for the damage, I'm gonna charge you uh, 1100, 1100. And I'm like, oh, at the time I didn't know I was gonna get 2700. So I'm like, dang, dude, the freaking insurance better pay me. Like, I want some extra cash. Especially because I'm almost done paying my car. I have $1,600 left to pay off my car. No more car payment. I'm too excited for that so when when so forward back to monday when i got the offer for 2700 i'm like dude all right oh my god i'm gonna pay 1100 to fix it and i know he does a great job and then uh <laughs> quick maths 2700 minus 1100 come on do math Plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick mess. I'm gonna have a uh, 1600 left. And dude, that's exactly how much I owe on my car. Like, bro, I'm gonna pay off my car with that leftover money. I'm like, sweet. But let's go back on Friday when I was at the shop getting my estimate, right? He saw the oxidation on, on my paint. He offered, he's like, if you wanna fix this too, at the same time, it's $600 more. So a total of 1700. And I think I'm gonna do that watch. Look at the oxidation in my paint. Let me show you guys. I'm all over the place with this video, man. My bad, but hope you guys following along. See, look, this is the roof. You see the oxidation? I tried to buff it out, but I couldn't. I think just the, the clear coat is already damaged. So it's all over the roof and it's super bad here on the side. And this side's already part of the accident, so he was gonna paint this side anyway. So you see the flaking of the, um, the clear coat and it's super bad on the trunk side. So he said he's gonna paint the trunk. Of course, all this side, because this is all like, you have to, because of the accident, you have to paint the whole side to match the, you can't just paint the accident side, you know? So it's gonna be all this, the roof, the trunk, the roof, and also the hood, because the hood has it pretty bad too. Here you can tell. So fixing the accident, 
fixing the trunk, the roof, the hood, all for $1,700. I think that's a good deal. I think I'm gonna go with that route because let's say I do fix the accident on the side and that's gonna le look like new and then yet the trunk, the hood, and the and the roof is gonna look all oxidized and old. It's not gonna look good, you know? So I don't know if you guys remember on the video regarding the accident, I'm like, dude, this year has been the worst. Like, it feels like life is just beating me up. Bah, bah. One two Mayweather with the one two Mayweather. And you know what? Sometimes rough episodes in life can turn into blessings. And I see this as a blessing because in the accident, nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. Everything was cool. I mean, it's annoying to deal with damages and all that. But at the end of the day, I got extra money. You know, I'm going to fix my car plus extra money to fix like little cosmetic details to make my car look better and have extra money to just pay off my car, you know? Ah. <sighs> It's a blessing, man. You know, you gotta, you think you're having like, um, you know, obstacles in your life will keep grinding at it and they're gonna eventually turn into blessings, you know? So that's it, guys. That's how much I got for my accident, 2700 I know there's gonna be people that are gonna say, you know, you should have fought for more money. Like, heck no, nah, you deserve more. And I probably could have. And I tried with the agent, be like, you know what? Like, heck no. Nah. Like, if I would take it to Nissan, they would probably charge me like 6000 7000 to fix it. Like, what the heck? And then his response was, well, we offered you $2,700. we are gonna like send you the check and when you take it to the body shop if it's more we pay the difference so they're pretty smart with that so they know that we're not just going to give you throw you extra money if it is more we'll show us the documents of the body shop and then we're gonna go ahead and pay you the difference but shout out to my uh mexican shops man you know oh and then some people were telling me too like 1100 dude to to fix the uh, out of pocket to fix your car i know someone that can do it for 400 dollars I can I know somebody that can do it for five hundred dollars like like we taken three cars to that same guy in body shop And they've done a great job. I think that's a pretty like um, Cheap price already for body work and if you go any lower I think you're gonna be tell like the quality is gonna suck if that makes sense you know like they say you pay for what you get pretty much you know that saying so uh, yeah i'm pretty sure someone can do it for three four hundred dollars but what if the paint comes off in like a few months or it doesn't look good or you know what i'm saying like we know this guy does a great job eleven hundred dollars was pretty reasonable and yeah so stay tuned gonna take it to the shop hopefully pretty soon so yeah guys <laughs> My nose is still stuffy. Hopefully that didn't sound all stupid. I think my oil is drained already. I'm gonna finish changing the oil on my car. And yeah, stay tuned. More videos. I'm slacking on videos, man. I'm telling you guys I've been sick. Yes, it's excuses, but you know what? I need to step it up. Oh, uh, not to mention at work, I'm still doing mandatory overtime. Right now I'm doing like minimum of 10 hours. I've been putting more though. I've been putting like 15, sometimes even 20 hours extra a week. All right guys, that's my spiel. That's my rant. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, have a great day. I know you say you want change. Well, you just gotta pray. And things gonna change one day. change.